Welcome back. Today's segment, sponsored by Spectrum Health, is talking all about sickle cells. Now, June 19th is World Sickle Cell Awareness Day. And to that end, we're speaking with Megan Sullivan and Dr. Jim Fodder right now to learn more all about it. Good morning. Good morning, Todd. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Megan, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And thank you for what you do at Helen Nevada Children's Hospital. We appreciate you taking the time out of your mornings. Let's start here, doctor, with the basics for those who have not ever really broken it down. What is sickle cell anemia? Well, we are, of course, remembering this very, very important uh, disease process in our African-American, uh, Black American uh, population, uh, kind of in sync with the Juneteenth uh, commemoration. And it's very important because uh, sickle cell anemia is a very severe form of anemia, not enough of the healthy forms of red blood cells to carry oxygen normally to tissues throughout the body. In this case, it's caused by a very significant abnormality in the hemoglobin molecule. That's the working part of the red blood cell that helps carry carry the oxygen to all of the tissues uh, throughout the body. When that hemoglobin is not functioning normally, not only do the red cells not survive for their normal period of time, but they don't work the way that they should. And in addition, those red blood cells that are normally nice round discs that pass easily through the bloodstream become elongated and sickle shaped, causing clogs and plugs within the blood vessels and causing significant complications. So it is a literal translation, the actual cell itself looks like a sickle and can get stuck and cause exactly. health issues. Excellent. So, uh, Hello Devos Children's Hospital, how do you guys there help support these patients and their families? Well, fortunately, we're seeing a lot of improvements and we have an entire comprehensive team that's able to help provide those services, which Megan uh, works with each and every day. Megan, tell, yes, us, yeah, thank you. tell us about your patients. How, you know, how do you treat these kids? <laughs> so, um, as the sickle cell social worker, I um, have for the last 12 years had the wonderful opportunity to be able to walk alongside families um, in this journey. And really, I, I like to think of myself as part of their family as well, because um, we get our patients uh, referred to us really soon after they are born. And so during these very early appointments, um, I can maybe be found holding your, your child while you're learning all about sickle cell disease and learning about how to take care of um, take care of your child and advocate for them. Um, I do a lot of work advocacy, school advocacy, and um, deal with a lot of different issues depending on each individual family, but sometimes it's food insecurity, housing insecurity, um, you name it, I, I try to find resources for it. And I partner with a lot of different organizations to try and um, advocate for and with these families. So it's really, it's, it's a privilege to be able to work so closely with the, this team. It sounds like you're a guardian angel to a lot of families there, Megan. <laughs> when it comes to treating that, or let's go with diagnosis. Uh, you, you, know, you, know, you mentioned this, doctor, that uh, it's a large problem in the African-American community. How, how do you diagnose sickle cell? It is, and we're really fortunate, Todd, here in the state of Michigan because the screening for the sickle cell gene is now able to be done as part of the newborn comprehensive screening that every child uh, really in the state of Michigan undergoes looking for a variety of illnesses that we want to be aware of sooner rather than later so that we can get those kids plugged into our comprehensive care team here at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, emblematic of, of Megan's great work uh, with the team, with the nurses and with the physicians. Because unlike in years past, there are some very exciting and very significant improvements in care that we have to offer in oral medication called hydroxyurea that helps to improve the function of the hemoglobin and decrease some of the symptoms and even some more dramatic therapies that are just on the horizon gene therapy and bone marrow transplant as an option for some children as always spectrum health is on the cutting edge and megan obviously you're supporting these families how can the community support you Thank, thank you for asking. There, um, there are events that will be happening um, on June 19th to um, for World Sickle Cell Awareness Day. Um, and you can get a lot of that information from the Michigan chapter of the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America's website, which is www.scdaami.org. And um, donating blood is really always a helpful, um, helpful thing uh, a lot of our patients receive blood trans transfusions regularly. Um, and then also even our clinic and our port, our pediatric oncology resource team um, helps offer some snacks and much needed like prizes when um, patients are 
are required to be in the hospital. So um, a lot of ways that you can donate and just even being aware is really helpful. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do, raise awareness for sickle cell and uh, the fight against it. Of course, it could be as simple as rolling up your sleeve and donating blood. Megan, thank you so much for the great information. And Dr. Jim Bonner, thank you so much again. Great to see you. Good to Thank see you. you so Have much. a great day. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Our pleasure. Of course, if you'd like to learn more about this, get involved. All the information waiting for you is heard at spectrumhealth.org.